Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all having the most incredible day. If this is your first time on my channel, my name is Sebastian and I welcome you guys with open arms. I do pop culture videos every single day. So if you're looking for the latest in reality TV, influencer tea, or pop culture, or you just need a new messy best friend, bitch, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I would be so incredibly grateful. Happy October 1st, you guys. New month, new gratitude, new abundance, and a lot of hocus pocus, bitch! Have you guys watched the second? Let, okay, don't give me any spoilers because I'm gonna watch it tonight. We're having a couple friends that we're doing like a little hocus pocus themed party. So I'm super excited and nervous because hocus pocus is one of my favorite freaking movies ever. But anyways, I will let you guys know what I think. Um, we need to talk about Miss Alexandria um, Hearing or whatever her last name is. Um, listen, that is obviously the woman who got caught with Ned cheating on his wife. And there is so much talk about her on the internet. There is, everyone is so curious to know who she is. Everyone is so curious to know whether or not she got fired or not, what's gonna happen to her, are Ned and her gonna, you know, get together. So I have literally went down a rabbit hole on the internet. And when I tell you there are so many conspiracies out there, it is insane, bitch. You would think Ned was part of the fucking Beatles or One Direction or like, you know, what if Backstreet Boys are insane. There is so many things, headlines about him. But um, the main thing was I was really surprised and curious. I couldn't find anything of whether or not she got fired or not. And, you know, I've been reading and I, I feel the same. If he got fired, she should be fired as well, right? Because if he got fired due to the fact that, you know, they had like a work environment relationship thing, then of course she should get fired too, right? Um, there's also, you know, there's also a lot of talk, you guys, about Alexandria and like, you know, what did she not care that he was married, right? Now, I have to, I have to say, I read a comment saying that you must be really cold hearted or not have any self dignity if you sat there, produced or edited content for them. And hearing Ned always talk about his wife, because you guys know he's famous for that. You know, my wife, my wife, my wife, my wife, my wife, my wife. Those are the ones you gotta be worried about, bitch. Um, and like, she still did this affair. You know what I mean? Like, I wonder, honestly, what was going on through her mind. And I also wonder, maybe did he say anything to her? Did he say that, you know, because there's, there's uh, also some rumors saying that he and his wife, April, allegedly have an open relationship. But the same rumors came about for Adam uh, Levine's situation, right? And I, I mean, obviously, I don't know what's going on. The only thing that I do know is that, you know, April and Ned were caught by the paparazzi and the paparazzi was like, girl, you know, are you guys together? And she goes, we're working on working things out, right? But Alexandra has been very quiet and she actually has disabled her comments. And I have searched everywhere, everywhere, whether or not she was fired. There's some pages saying that she was, but they handle it internally, allegedly. There's some pages saying, oh, um, no confirmation has been has been yet. Or there's another one saying that the case is being analyzed. And there's another one that this is obviously, I don't, I mean, I'm going to just say this is allegedly a rumor I read. But they're saying that Alexandria allegedly came clean and talked about the relationship to save her ass and to get him in trouble. I don't know if that's true or not. The only thing I do know is that, you know, this is such an unfortunate situation because I always put, and I always take this back to egos. The only reason that they really thought they couldn't get caught was because they think they're untouchable. They think with some fame, some money, some attention, some, you know, celebration, some fans, they think they're invincible. I mean, look at fucking Adam Levine DMing these girls from his account. You know what I mean? And Ned literally in a New York City nightclub together with this girl making out. I don't know, if I was Alexandria, I would, cause I have been seeing a lot of really, really nasty messages towards her. And a lot of people are coming hard for her. You know, a lot of people are standing by Ned and a lot of people are just blaming her. 
And I don't think that should be the situation, babe. He's the one who is married. He is the one who has children. You know, I do believe they're both responsible because she obviously knew he was married. And I mean, listen, if that's your thing to go with a married person, then that's your thing. I'm not judging anybody, but I'm saying I believe they're both responsible, but going harder on her, I don't think that's the way. You know what I mean? Because he is the one, he is a scumbag who has a damn wife and children, right? And then he wants to come out saying with his statement, my wife and kids are my main priority. Bitch, no, they're not. No, they're not. If they were, you wouldn't be in the situation you were, right? Um, a lot of people are also saying like that he should not have gotten fired. Um, there's, you know what it really boggles me, you guys, is that the internet is so, always so divided. The internet can never, ever get, like, along or, you know, come up with the same, like, like, you know, be on the same team or be on the same, like, you know, level. It's always different. And as the days go by, I read that, you know, allegedly Ned wants to start his own YouTube channel and that, you know, he's working things out with his wife and he's ready to move on, right? But where does that leave Alexandra? Like, Alexandra is now always going to be known as Ned Fulmer's mistress who broke the, the marriage, right? The homewrecker. Like, that is, that's the things I'm reading online. And I think, like, we need to give them both, I guess, the, you know, the same energy. You know what I mean? But I don't know, you guys, at the same time, I'm, I'm more pissed off at him because he knew he had a wife and kids at home. And, you know, it it's up to you whether or not you feel OK to be with a married person. Right. Um, what do you guys think of this situation? Um, the Try Guys will be coming back, I believe, December 4th. Um, they needed to take some kind of hiatus just to understand what's going on, process things and come back when they can actually like articulate it. Um, anyways, I'm going to drink my green tea and lemon. Um, you guys are always asking me, <laughs> that's a lie. Sometimes you ask me, sometimes you ask, what is this? I hate the little lemon thingies. Sometimes you ask me, um, what I drink in the morning and stuff. And the only thing I do right when I wake up with my yas cup is ginger and ginger, bitch, green tea and lemon. That's it. And hot water. And then... I drink my green juice like a little bit later on. I do celery, I do cucumber, I do lemon, I do, um, sometimes I do apple, green apple, and uh, celery, cucumber, apple, lemon, and that's it. That's all, and then, I, and then I have breakfast a little bit later, but it's super, super good if you start your morning off with lemon and green tea. I do caffeine free because I have anxiety, and caffeine and I, we're not very good friends. So if you have anxiety, do that. But honestly, little sour, bitch. But let me give you a little tip. If you're a little bit bloated because you haven't gone to the bathroom to do number two, bitch. I told you I was your new messy best friend, okay? I come with tea and tips, okay, bitch? All you have to do, drink some green tea. Uh, you know, a couple hours before you have to go out, put the lemon. Bitch, you will be in the bathroom watching TikTok for an hour straight. Guarantee it. Anyways, you guys, that was your tea and tips of the day. Well, maybe I should do that uh, from now on. Tea and tips of the day. Sebastian's tea and tips. I like it. Anyways, happy October, you guys. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. I love you all so much. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.